Um, so that scale of 1 to 10 is relative to all the other experiences we've had with African regulators. Okay. I'd give the CMA a resounding 10 um, because they are the first regulator in Africa to, to actually create a sandbox to get this far in the process. And um, their engagement of the stakeholders has been better than the engagement that we've seen in other countries. Um, it has taken some time, but this didn't have to be a priority of a regulator who's developing all other aspects of this capital markets. There is the stock exchange, the real estate investment trust, the derivatives market. Um, there's a tremendous amount of work to do for a regulator in a, in a frontier market. So they've prioritized this and they've seen it as Kenya's strength. And, um, and that is a willingness, it's a, it's a vision of the, of the way the market should be that we haven't really seen with other regulators. They're not intimidated by it. They're very proud of the work that they've done. And you can see that the team that's worked on it um, really is, is excited to implement and, and learn. And that's, that's a culture within the regulator that we find quite rare. And um, the CMA is, has its jurisdiction. It, it can't take away that, the sort of sovereignty of the central bank or the, the telecoms regulator, other ones. And the best it can do is try to convince those other regulators to share its vision. And whether that's in the form of a, a memorandum of understanding, that's great, to strengthen that, that um, sandbox. Uh, or it's sort of um, an entente between them that enables the fintechs that are in that sandbox to um, at least meet the counterparts and other regulators and have a conversation and still be allowed to test the model. That's, that's really going to be a conversation. And um, I think given their parameters, they've done very, very well. I do think that naturally fintechs are hamstrung if their project is sort of 60% CMA and 40% CBK. Or there's a cross-border, strong cross-border uh, component that they rely on for sustainability and there's no MOUs between Rwanda, Uganda and Kenya, then, then it's going to be a limited sandbox. But again, this is brand new. People are going to look at it and I'm sure that the CMA is going to have some very um, strictly selected first projects that are going to demonstrate the value of this, this fintech sandbox and this will just spread the word and de-risk it in the eyes of other regulators. Right.